What's going on, everybody? Welcome to episode 24 of our Leipzig career mode. And today we have three games now. We were originally going, or we normally do four. The issue here is that these next four are all really, really big. Uh, we've got two in the Champions League, um, and then Dortmund and Schalke, two teams in Germany, which are both rather good, though Schalke may not be as much in real life at this moment in time. In game, they're still relatively good so what we're going to do is we're just going to play these first three we're going to play salzburg dortmund and then schalk and then next episode we'll get back to simming we'll just figure out which one it is next time we play so for now let's jump into this game against salzburg we're going to jump right on into it as you can see in the group we are on five along with napoli and then zagreb on four salzburg on one as salzburg gave us a real run for our money last time out so this will not be easy but we are going to see if, you know, we can cause some problems. So at the moment, everyone looks relatively fit. I think the only change I may make is Danny Almo out and then Lookman in. Lookman has been really, you know, causing problems. And then Adams can come in for Limer, I think, who's just a touch off it, but... We should be able to survive it. So let's jump into it. Leipzig, Salzburg, sister club again. Let's go. Very intelligent when they counter. He's, he's managed to turn there and finally win it off him. Can't quite get it out of there. We give it right back and it's right into the middle here. And Galashi did so well. And he just gets to that. I thought for a moment there, thought he might bring him down. He hasn't. One more. Can we get it out wide? We can. Klosterman is in a bit of space here. And the run being made into that gap here. And it comes to Fekir. And Fekir, good finish. Could have played it one more time. He has it. He's done it himself. Finishes at the near post. And on the 20-minute mark, we take a 1-0 lead. That's what we want to see. Excellently done. Very, very good counter-attacking football once again. And Klosterman plays the perfect pass in there. He takes a touch. Hammers it near post. Jovic waiting in the middle as well. But Fekir giving us the lead. Nice takeaway. And that gets clipped forward into a nice position. And Jovic on it now. One more to Sabitza. And the overlap coming from Angelino. And Angelino, can he clip it in? He can. Brilliant. That's excellent play from the left back. He just clips it into that space. And we've grabbed a second here. 2-0 the score on 41 minutes. And all of a sudden we have a gap. Lookman with the goal. Once again, the overlapping fullback is really, really causing problems. Assists from both of them. And Angelino just gets out there and then clips the perfect ball into that space. And Lookman just has to get a touch onto it, doesn't he? He hammers it into the back of the net. And it's 2-0. Oh, I thought we got a foot onto that. And moving forward here. And he's managed to slip it into that space. 2-1. Thought we had that covered. I really did. Daka brings Salzburg back into this. We were cruising for a little bit there. And now they're in it again. It's excellent stuff. It's very well done. He gets slipped in there. I backed up to go with him. I made sure I tried to keep with him. And then he just stepped inside. It's a nice run from Daka. It's another goal for him. An excellent young player. And it's 2-1 here on 50 minutes. Can we take advantage? Coming back up the other way. It's Lookman. And Nkunku's making the run here. And it's Nkunku. Oh, he's off to finish, but it's come back. And there it is. A bit of luck there. The goalkeeper should be doing better. But Fakir taps in our third and gives us our two-goal lead back. A bit of luck. And Nkunku really ought to have shot better. The goalkeeper ought to have done better. And Fakir will take it either way. Gets slipped in and... He's got the whole goal to shoot at. Decent save, I suppose. Could have been better from Nkunku. Ought to have been better from the goalkeeper. Kind of just tapped it, and it fell right back to Fekir. Taps it in. 3-1 on the hour. We are currently playing an incredibly scrappy game. Everybody just giving the ball away. We have chances to break. They have a chance to step in there, and it's back in... 
Into the game as Salzburg. 3-2. It's been incredibly scrappy. We can't get it out. And then they come in. They just kind of pass it around and don't get anywhere. They finally get in as Daka again. Gets in behind the defense and fires at home. It's a nice step inside there. And that ball comes in. And that step was very quick. He pushed it right forward. Comes along with an excellent finish. And with 10 minutes remaining, are Salzburg going to salvage something here? We've got a minute to go here. Can we hold on? Tyler Adams on it now. It's in Kunku. And the run's being made. And that was not to the right guy. Not the time, FIFA, for you to mess up where I wanted that pass to go. And at the moment, we're just trying to hold on. Blow the whistle. It's gone backwards. There it is. A 3-2 win here over Salzburg, who have really given us a run once again. Of course, 2-2 last time. This time we grabbed that almighty third to win 3-2. Both of us had four shots total. We were just the more clinical side, weren't we? Our three chances were actually just the three goals because one of those shots was just deflected or saved right to Fekir, tapped in. So we created three chances, scored three goals. That's what we like to see. And now we have a massive, massive game against Dortmund coming. I also want to check how Zagreb and Napoli did last time. Of course, Zagreb went to Naples and grabbed a point last time round. We'll see if that happened this time. Though I would actually prefer if Napoli won their game and then we'd both be four points ahead with two games to go. That would be huge, really. So let's jump into this Champions League thing and see we're on eight and they drew again two two so they drew both games so we're top of the group we're on eight napoli on six zagreb on five and salzburg on one so that means if we were to beat zagreb in our game i believe later on or that'll be next episode if we were to beat zagreb we would be through into the next round regardless of what happened in the other game and on the final day which would obviously be great but as you can see, a pretty tough team here still in Dortmund. A humongous game near the top of the table. They're only three points back of us. Let's go. Nicely played. Nicely done right through the middle here as that gets out to Fekir. And Fekir tried to swing that across. Oh, it's an own goal. That's a bad, bad own goal, isn't it? I wanted that cross to come in sooner because he was ahead of his man. But what a start anyway. As it's going to count. Fekir swings this in and the Dortmund man just sticks a toe out and clips it by the goalkeeper. See, I wanted it there first time. He was ahead. Very strange. It's Hummels. He just tried, he's just stuck a foot out. Wrong footed the goalkeeper. Absurd start to the game. But we lead after four minutes. Back up here. Oh, that's a good ball in behind. And Rashika does get to this. And it's Rashika. Great finish. Just went over the top. It was straightforward for Dortmund. And that is a shame because we are struggling to break them down at the moment. They're setting up defensively very, very well. And Rashika, of course, if you watched our Leon career mode, you know how good he is. And that just goes straight through. And Limer just can't keep up. Rashika bests him. And fires it into the back of the net. An excellent finish. And it's 1-1. Right through the gap here. And once again, defensively, we don't have the pace. Oh, Dortmund hit too quickly. It's Holland this time. And they've taken the lead. It's right through the gap again. And once again, we cannot keep up. He even did that little extra move there, and we did not get back in time. Erling Holland with the goal. 44 minutes gone, and Dortmund are ahead now. Can we find our way back into this game? It's Limer. Gets it to Sabitza. And Sabitza continues to go. And Sabitza trying to round the corner. Can't, but he can slip back inside. Holding on to it. One more. And Kunku. And then Kunku can play through, and it's Jovic. Oh, good save. And ooh, can't quite get back to it. Anywhere but straight, and that's surely a goal. Couldn't quite do it, though. Slips inside. Sabitza plays it out wide here to Angelino. Started off the second half well, and 
just gets a foot to it. Played nicely there to Fekir. And now Fekir, once again, his touch is heavy. Why is Fekir's touch so heavy? That's like the third or fourth time his touches have been really heavy. It's causing problems as Dortmund come forward. Oh, that's excellent football. That's lovely. And it's going to count. I thought he was offside. It's 3-1 to Dortmund. And now... That's their first attack of the second half, too. It's excellent play. I thought this guy was offside. Guess he wasn't. It's excellent, excellent football. I mean, there's not too much more you could say. There's something about the way Dortmund play in this game with this five wide in midfield. We have trouble with it. And at the moment, we are going for a defeat here. Played on. One more. Nicely done. It's good football here. We're going to have to score, get the ball back, and score all right now, essentially. And the towel can't quite find the pass that was needed. It was a tough one, to be completely fair. But we are going to drop points here. Beaten by Dortmund, who... They just give us problems defensively because they're so compact. And then they go up the pitch, and they're just quicker than we are. I mean, two of their goals came from them just outpacing us at the back but we have to figure out a way to start getting by this defense because there's it's just not happening as you can see there were five shots all game they scored with their three well not ideal is it absolutely not ideal we'll see where that leaves us in the table Dortmund are level with us Bayern lost as well so that's huge for us. After that game, there are three teams on 26 and one on 25, as you can see. Who did Bayern lose to? They lost away to Mainz. So as you can see, there are five teams there within three points of us. Three on 26. A pretty wild start to the season. And we'll see if it continues. So we are going to jump forward into the Schalke game. We are going to make one change in the squad at the moment. Not too many people are going to like this, I don't think. But I think we're going to bring Nabi Kate in for Sabitza for a little bit. Sabitza just hasn't really done anything in weeks and weeks, really. He's been on the pitch quite a lot, but I'm just not noticing him playing particularly well. We'll see if we can get a change in there and help us out in midfield a little bit. And, of course, Sabitza can work his way back in. It's, it's not... Like I'm giving up on Sabitza or anything. So let's jump forward. Leipzig, Schalk. Let's go. Plays it out wide is Jovic. Fakir making the run. Can we find him? It's an excellent ball. Fakir, what a take that is. That's brilliant from Fakir. He had a really bad game against Dortmund. He had a lot of heavy touches, but that touch is perfect. And the pass is perfect as well. And what a take and what a goal. Jovic with the perfect pass. A great take. Hammers it home. That is such an excellent goal. And it's given us the lead here. 1-0 on 21 minutes. Fekir. Out wide to Jovic. And once again, can these two combine? It's going to come out here to Fekir. Manages to keep that in play. And he steps inside brilliantly. And it's back across here to Nabi Keita. And Keita does well to turn inside. And it's Keita. Good save. Almost a goal. Couldn't quite find the back of the net. An excellent set of little turns in there. And it stays 1-0. Keita. Nicely done. It's lovely football. Straight through the gap here for Danny Olmo. And Danny Olmo. Good save. Mm, a really, really big chance to open up this second half. And give us a bit of breathing room. Can't quite finish it off. And we've had a couple decent chances. I think we've had three shots total now. All three being some genuinely decent chances. Would love another goal. Jovic is going to move into this space. And Angelino's made a really good run. And it's Angelino. What a finish. Excellent from the fullback. Who we bought back this year to start. He wasn't really the starter last year. But this year, we like that agility that... Movement is just a little bit better than Aslenberg. But he's stepped in here and he's really contributing quite a lot. 
And this is an excellent finish. Right footed as well, right into that corner. That is a really excellent finish first time. Look at this. No chance whatsoever for the goalkeeper. That is an excellent finish from the fullback. And it's 2-0. Nicely played. Oh, I did not see that guy, but he's giving it right away. One more back inside. Keita and Paulson on it here. And can we slip that out there? We can. And Fekir, can he get away? Fekir! Oh, almost found the net back of the net there. That would have been an excellent finish from the Frenchman. There's three minutes to go, and that miss shouldn't really cause any more problems. Shulk, I don't expect to come back into this game. And with a minute to go, we are going to come away with another three points that should keep us top of the table. We have a loss today, but we stay top of the table, which is important. And now we're top of this table, still in the Pokal, and then top of our Champions League group as well. So we're in a pretty good position at this point in the season. As you can see, not too much going on in that game, only six shots. Since we upped the difficulty... They've been a little bit more difficult to break down, and they've also created a little bit more, but not a whole ton, but they're getting a little bit more clinical, which is going to be the difficult part going forward. So next episode, as you can see, we start with Zagreb, a very important game, a win there, and um, we're through. We're through into the second round, which is obviously the most important part, and then we'll have Mochen Gladbach, then Mainz in the cup, and then Bremen. We're probably going to sim the Bremen game, um, though they're having a pretty decent season as well. So we're getting to a point right now where we don't want to sim games that are important. If this is a lower end team, then I'm not too worried, but if they're top, yeah, so that's no problem simming Bremen this 16th. Um, that gap between 16th and 17th is already rather large, but we will go ahead and sim that Bremen game in the end. So. Guys, I hope you folks have enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more. And peace.